name is Sophia, I'm project manager in Atheon and today I'll show you how to manage Atheon robots using smart infrastructure service on Atheon platform. Behind me you may see one of our gadget disinfection robots. You need only five steps and less than five minutes to set up a new robot and after this I will show you how to start working with a real task. Let's do this together one by one, step by step and you'll be able to see how easy it is. So let's start. First, you need to add a new infrastructure facility. You need to add the building name, choose a building type, fill in the address field, and save. As easy as this. Second step is adding floors. To add a new floor you need to give it a name and a number and upload a map in PNG format. Let's do this right now. PNG is the main supported format since it is the most common for Robotics mapping, but Atheon team is currently working on adding an AutoCAD file support to the platform. So as soon as the PNG map is uploaded, you'll need to indicate its scale. This should be familiar to anyone who has exported a building map created in AutoCAD. To complete the tasks, the robot needs to be able to navigate through working areas, so your goal is to mark them on the map as quickly as possible. You should do this only once. It usually takes less than 10 minutes for the whole floor. First, let's mark a chosen working area. You can use a rectangle or a polygon if the working zone has a complex shape. Give the new area a name and choose a color to be able to easily identify it on the floor map to set up a new task. So the dot in the center of the area marks the position of the robot. This is where it will arrive to start working on a task in this area. You can move this spot to any place that is suitable. In order for the robot to correctly identify entrances and access from the working area, meaning doors and walkways, you can set points or entire routes directly on the map. Red route marks exit from our room and the green one, entrance. You can move these points in the most comfortable way to you. So, as soon as you're done with each working area, save it. It will be available in the panel and you'll be able to edit or change it anytime. For the robot to be the most effective, you can also mark restricted areas on the map through which the robot will not be allowed to lay its route. For example, here at Unit City, where our offices are located, a garden or a plant wall can be a restricted area. Simply add a zone and name it just like before. Another kind of object you can put on the map is charging stations. You can specify which station it needs to boot into in the robot settings. Several robots can use one charging station. Each robot can charge itself automatically when its remaining charge is not enough to complete the next task. 
or you can set up a specific task for it to charge them. In order for the robot to spot the location of the charging station, you need to specify its location on the map as accurately as possible. So, if you place a number of charging stations across the building, robots will be able to autonomously find the closest one and use it. Okay, select Add Station option to place the charging station on the map and give a name for your station. You can also set up a home docking station in the robot settings for it to use the station by default. Now, to start creating tasks for chosen zones, you need to add a robot to the building. To do this, proceed to the drive, devi uh, sorry, to device manager section and click add device. Every robot has a unique serial number on it. To assign a building for the robot and protect it from unauthorized use, you need to name it and enter its serial number, which will allow the system of, to, to fill in type, drive, driver, and model fills automatically. You don't need to fill in these forms manually. IP address and port are the optional fills for the other device types. So now the system tells us that the robot will be attached to the building we are in into the moment. You can set up complex tasks that require the robot to move between floors. And to complete the registration, you need to indicate the floor where the robot is located at the time of registration so that it understands its starting position. Also, you can set up it assigned charging station and indicate the default task. The task it will go to when there are no other tasks, charge the batteries, for example. Now the robot is registered and ready for the tasks to be created. Okay. Let's open an actual map of the building we are at right now and give the robot nearby task. We are now located in one of the buildings of our tech campus, campus in building B10 on the fourth floor. Our robot is already registered in this building. It is online and ready to get a new task. The map is also added to the system with all the working areas specified. So all we need to do is click on a working area and to create a task for it. So let's choose a task type clean and enter the name for this task. The system has already prepared the floor in our selected area. Let's choose the desired device. If you leave this field as any available, the task will go to the first available robot. You also can see that the wait on goal option is available. If you select this option, upon the completion of the task, the robot will switch to a standby mode, waiting for the user to confirm by pushing the release button. For example, you can use this option if you have non-automatic doors in your facility and you want to manually open it for a robot after completing the task. So as for the time selection, there are three options available. You can either set a specific time or add the task to queue or um, create an immediate task if you want to start the task right now. For scheduled tasks, you can set a specific date and time. Also, you can set a flexible time option. 
for example, we set time at 9 a.m. and a flexible option of 15 minutes. It means that the robot is allowed to start executing the task from 8.45 till 9.15. Also, you can set a repeat option for your task. For example, you can repeat your task from Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. So as we want to start cleaning now, we will choose immediately option and create our task. All done. Let's look at our robot right now. As easy as this. I hope it was easy for you as for me. And thanks for watching.